Got a devil's haircut in my mind. This is a transparent clipping path that we made in Photoshop using channels. We picked our best channel, which was red channel, took it in, pasted it into layers using your levels to bring out the most contrast, keeping the best detail. This being a more difficult image, I had to do this twice for the upper chiffon and the lower chiffon to capture all the detail. Now, the reason for this is because we are going to use this black and white image to create a mask in order to place this into a different background scene. Now, when you get your levels where you want, go through and clean up with your brushes. You'll be using your black and your white. For what's white is shown through, and what black is hidden. I put my layer on a lower transparency so I can see the image underneath. This allowing me to see the detail and find the silhouette. Smaller brushes for the better detail around and then when you get that you can come back in and block out with clear brushes. You just want to make sure you get all the lighter tones so it's an absolute black so nothing will show through. I'm going to use this to make my mask. I'm going to duplicate my background layer, copy the layer I have just created, make a mask, and paste the image into it. And now I have a beautifully clipped out girl that has translucency in the chiffon along with hard edges on the figure. The grays in our clipping math make the chiffon translucent. This allows for images to show through the chiffon and make it very realistic. Boy, that was... Oh, shit. Oh, that was fine.